Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through how to open everything up. So first you'll do the sign in, which is the 2020. And then you're gonna see this. And so we're gonna go to meet, uh, sorry, team manager, which is right here. So double click on there, okay? And we're gonna, I'm just gonna say no for now because I don't have a good Wi-Fi connection, but you'll say yes when you have a good Wi-Fi connection. Um, so I'm gonna can cancel the download. Okay, so what you're going to do is, I've already done all the athletes for you, okay? And the reason that we weren't able to enter any of their results is because when the information got put in for the boys roster, there were no ages for them. So if you don't have an age for them, you can't put them into an event. So I went through and I, I put ages for all the guys. I tried to match their year with their age. Um, so I was able to do, if, if they came up as a junior, I changed them to be 18 years old and to be a senior. All the freshmen, you're gonna probably have to double check because I wasn't sure whether they were new freshmen or old freshmen. So anyway, here's the other thing. Come up here to team and go to P-A-D-E. Just keep that, that's gonna be your team. When I originally put it all together, I put Palm Desert High School, PDHS, I think so. Like if you look up here again, because I thought that's what you guys went uh, with, but then when we went to um, La Quinta Relays, they have you in as this. So I just tried to be consistent. So you just always want that. Okay, so here we have both, but if you just want males, you have here. And so now you've seen, I've put all ages in now. So now you're gonna be able to, they'll come up. The only one that doesn't have an age is Brent Sawyer, cause I'm assuming he's a senior but I didn't want to take him out. And then Trent Brody, I guess I didn't put a year. So you can go back in. And the way you do that is you double click. Oh, actually, yep, and then it comes up. And then you can, so up here is the age, down here is the year. So I'm just gonna make him a freshman, but I don't know. So you might have to go back and change. And I put okay. All right, so anytime that you wanna make any kind of changes, with the athletes, you have to be an athletes up here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to meets. And you always have to have a meet set up in order to put information in. So yesterday we were working on Shadow Hills. So you could just double click on here. We have Shadow Hills. I think, you know, we, oh, sorry, no, not, not Shadow Hills, canceled. I'm gonna go back. We worked on um, Beaumont right here. So we had gone back in and uh, we had changed the date so that it was all good and we saved it. So, and it's a high school meet, high school meet, important, save. So this is what you want. You want Beaumont, you want where it is, um, the course, which is yards, and then all these dates should be the same. And then over here that it's a high school meet and we're gonna save it, okay? So you got that all set up. So now you are in meets. And this is where we're gonna put the results and this is what we were looking for last time. So we've got, we're gonna do Beaumont because that's what was yesterday and we're gonna do results. And you're gonna go by event because if you have to uh, put them in by um, keying them in, it's best to do it by event because then you can just follow follow the um, your meet sheet. So we're gonna do results by event. Okay, so now as you see, these are all the events we have. Some are JV, um, and okay, so this first one's a female. Now, here's a tricky thing, relays. So the first event is a relay, I, and then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to come up here and you're gonna have to make sure you have this, P-A-D-E, okay? And we're gonna go to the boys relay. So I'm gonna come down to here, which is you guys right here. So we're gonna go here. You have to have this highlighted and you wanna come here and do team. Cause if you could see, we have the PDHSB. We just wanna do the team that we're working on, which is this one, okay? So you need to enter, make a relay up 
and you have to have this, and you want to have this. So you're going to do new final relay, and then and then you see how that pops up, and then you can put the time in. Okay, I'm just going to make up a time, and then you'll have to go back and um, modify it. So I'm going to say it was um, all right two, and I'm just putting in here fifteen thirty. Enter. Okay. And now what you can do, I'm just going to do because it's on the top, you double click here and see how it just goes off. And I'm just putting these guys and double click. I think you can see that. Okay. And then that's it. And so when you need to make another relay, like your B relay, you do the same thing. And then you just double click your guys. So make sure that you go back and you change this. Okay, so we've got results there. Now, um, we're going to go to the next event. We're going to go to individual event. Actually, I'm going to scroll all the way down because I have put Carter in. Um, this is kind of his time, but I'm not certain. Okay. So, you just scroll down and let's see. And there, you see right there, I've already put his time in. And the way you just do it, I'm going to... As you just double click on it and you put his time in. Now, if you want, and you could put uh, what place he got and his points. So if we were hooked up to the meet, you would, you pulled it over, it would have put the place and points in for you. So I wouldn't necessarily do that for right now, but here you, you've got it. Okay. So um, I'm just going to say, okay, for this because we didn't put everything in. But that's how you enter enter it. Now you can come up here, because we have Beaumont um, recorded, you can come up and do reports, and you can do um, meet results. And when you do meet results, uh, we have the meet is the Beaumont, the team, we only want our team. And I think everything else is right. So now when I push on this create, Hopefully, the relay that I made up and put in and Carter's results will be there. So let's see if it works. And there it is. That's the individual. Um, and there's Carter's time right there. So actually, I may have forgotten. Okay, let's cut this out here. Oh, I may have forgotten. Oh, I only put individual here. So if we want individual and relays, you go here and then do create report. And okay, so now you see, now you see that these are here. Now, if we had been uh, hooked to the Colorado timing system, these guys all would have had splits underneath their times, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna close this out, close this out. And I'm just gonna show you one other thing. I'm gonna go, so, Actually, from here, anytime you want to do a report, you can come right here. You can do performance report, meet report, workouts, all that stuff. So um, I'm going to go here to athletes. And anytime you want anything or have to about an athlete, you come here. So again, I'm going to do Carter. Um, let's sort by last name. We'll just do team. I'm going to scroll down to get Carter. Where are you, Carter? Oh, and I'm just gonna do mail again. You can always do like that. So so now I can highlight Carter and then I can come up here and I can do uh, results. So everything that's ever stored in the computer for him will come up and see, and this is like all from last year. And then we have this brand new one that I put in from Beaumont. But then you can go print or expect, um, export results, but that's like pretty cool. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff, but that's pretty much what you need. Okay. Hope that helps. Bye.